first of its kind in Africa outside Nigeria, People's Club of Nigeria backs another branch in South Africa. In an attempt to foster a community of goodwill, Honorable Benedict Thomas Okafor initiated the South African branch of People's Club of Nigeria, right here in Region A of the city of Johannesburg Metropolitan Municipality. Midrand between the borders of city of Tuani Metropolitan Municipality is Summit Delta Suit, where the inauguration of the branch and the induction of members is being conducted today. I'm Mr. Samuel Shino Omar, I'm the chairman, CEO of Summit Delta Suit, South Africa. So what is happening today? We are is a new branch opening in South Africa. People's Club International. It's happening in my own venue, which is Summit Dela Suit. Now, People's Club of Nigeria was founded in 1971 when it mattered the most in the eastern central state of Nigeria, which is now known as Abia State, in a city called Aba, the major urban settlement and commercial center for trade and industries. Led by Prince Titus Ike Ume Ezoke, People's Club was founded. This was a time when Ndibo lost faith in life with no iota of hope for survival. A time when the experience of war and hunger ravaged the hope of the people. Ndibo as of them felt abandoned, raped, and extinguished by the Nigerian and Biafran civil war. Chief Titus Ike Mezoke, Onyima Wandu of Amish, founder, national patron, People's Club of Nigeria. People's Club of Nigeria labeled with their notable slogan Ndezibo Mume, which interprets in English language people of good character, host members and dignitaries from across the countries of the world who flew in to grace and witness the inauguration and the induction of the South African branch. Let's hear from some of them. Yeah, my name is uh, uh, Chief Petro Sangwebe. Uh, People's Club of Nigeria International. I'm from the San Francisco branch in the United States of America and I've been in this club for more than 20 years. People's Club started after the, uh, the Nigerian Biafran War. Uh, the war was something very, very uh, oppressive. Therefore, some individuals would uh, Businessmen got together, not only businessmen, but just togetherness got together and said we have to do something for ourselves. Uh, millionaires uh, that lost their servants, lost everything they had. The Nigerian government at that time gave them only 20 pounds. 20 pounds is only 40 naira uh, in the money today. But they got back and have determination and they have network within themselves. And within a couple of years, they all became millionaires. And therefore, this particular club is the is the is the the, the club that brought about the Igbo mercantilism in Nigeria. And if you go to the United States of America, for example, we have more than 22 branch uh, branch branches all over in the United States. Another place is in Nigeria. We have, I think, about two or three, if I, if I remember correctly, in the United Kingdom. And, uh, but America is where um, a lot of us are there. The idea is networking. It doesn't have to be people's club. Where people of the same spirit, the same likeness, get together and say, this is what we are going to do. And they, they, they mean what they say they want to do and do it for the betterment of, of of their community and that's how what people's club is all about and then we, this is the first time we are bringing dissent team for those of them here that are nigerians that would like to join if not only necessarily nigerians any other person that like what they are doing and think is it will benefit from that can go and join them at a time when music was a calling that is driven by passion 
the likes of Oliver the Coco and Chief Osita Osadebe's music and presence amplified the rise of People's Club of Nigeria to fame. As a musician, these two musicians raised the high morale of the people of the international. So we are proud and happy to associate with them. May his Lord rest their souls in peace and perfect in Jesus' name. We are here in South Africa for the occasion of, you know, in inauguration of. Uh, People's Club of Nigeria, South African branch. And my husband is the first patron of Live People's Club. Patron, what do you mean if you hear His royalty, Sir Eyu or Hazulika, is the only for you that we hear Patron, People's Club of Nigeria International. Patron from Naval Branch. Because if you are a if you are a patron, you have to belong to a branch where you be the patron of Nigeria and international. And so I'm here with my honorable wife to inaugurate South Africa branch of People's Club Nigeria International. We're happy to be here. My name is uh, Honorable Sir. Ben Kenta. Um, I am the founder, founding chairman of PCN International, PCNI International, People's Club of Nigeria International South African Branch. And today we are having our induction stroke inauguration. Today is our day and we've come to make sure that it's a successful one. I really want to use this wonderful opportunity to, to thank the, the members of the People's Club of South Africa, most especially the president, the executive, the patrons, even the newly inducted members which will be inducted today. Uh, I want to say a wonderful congratulation to them in advance and I wish them well on this wonderful office they are about to take in. And uh, most especially, I just want to let them understand that uh, People's Club has been an regent organization and a regent family in Igbo land or in Nigeria at large. The most respected family, the most respected club, the most respected honorable members in a place where we have the most dignitaries, the most philanthropies in Igbo land which one of them was my own senior brother or my own uncle, which is a chief, Sir Joseph Ozome Nawanko. The man, the man, the man is an international lord of People's Club of Nigeria back in the days. I really want to congratulate them in advance and tell them to, to keep it up. They started well. Believe me, the sky is their beginning. Indeed. People's Club Social Ethics was the inspiration of the youth of that generation, whom we know today as our fathers. My name is Mr. Steve, member of People's Club of Nigeria, South Africa branch. I started hearing about People's Club when I was a teenager. There are street and responsible social influence within and among their members was my catch. 
it has always been my desire to one day become a member of this prestigious club. And today, I'm glad that my dream has finally come true. Thank you. All right, the President and Chief Executive Officer of Stanley Richfield and Associate Incorporated, a firm of chartered accountant in South Africa and Nigeria, High Chief Nze Stanley Ibe, Dikudo of Ebenato Ekwe, Omen Manisu, over to you. My name is High Chief Nze Stanley Ibe, Dikudo One of Ebenato Ekwe. Um, today we are here for the inauguration and induction of the South African chapter of the People's Club of Nigeria International. And uh, People's Club is a very prominent club of the Igbo people, a club founded in 1971 after the Nigerian Civil War to address the issues of poverty and the issues of the pain that relates to the civil war between the uh, Biafra and the Nigeria from 1967 to 1970. So a group of people came together and, and found this club. And since then it has been growing from bound to bound. And uh, it is now in many countries of the world. It has left beyond the shores of Nigeria. It is now in the United States. It's in the United Kingdom. It's in South Africa now. Like I said, today is the inauguration of the South African chapter. It is also the induction of the first members of the South African chapter. So people have come from all over the world. We have delegates coming from Nigeria, the United States. Um, I've seen delegates from hosting in Texas. I've seen delegates from, um, from Florida. I've seen, um, I've also seen from other states in the United States. And uh, we are indeed very happy that today we have in our midst our national president and uh, secretary. And we have in our midst also some executive members from different chapters of the world and also patrons. So indeed we are expectant that uh, it's going to be the resounding sources. And also that this um, chapter is going to grow in leaps and bounds and many, many people would aspire to be members of this great club. Thank you. From Obuaya in Ayazumbise, Imo State of Nigeria, Chief Security Officer, Nigerian Consulate to South Africa, Principal Officer, Anti-Crime Security Academy, Chief Protocol Director, Supreme Eze in Council, South Africa, General Sir Tony Okoro in local dialect, explains his position in People's Club of Nigeria, South Africa. Ah, General Satoni, Okoro, Knight of Dagama, here in South Africa. the National Chief Protocol Officer of Ohaneze Ndibu, here in South Africa. Okwamua the Chief Protocol Director of the Supreme Eze in Council, known here in South Africa. Okwamua Bukwa, the Chief Security Officer of Nigerian Consulate to South Africa. Emumai Chorime today was inauguration and induction of the People's Club of International South Africa, which I will remember name here. So today, uh, here we are in Bidoria, came last year, uh, by God's grace, uh, according to Oto Yejiri Kwesrede, Agahemai and Dot today, and uh, inaugurate Yanye. I am a special guest from Nigeria and our national president of People's Club from the USA, from Igwe, Mandikeshi, Ali, Nigeria, we are here. So I believe our is the moment and of which Gilanya people and Anna Abiela wish more burger. I am going to eat here. Obi Dumangore Tata. Because what they like him by na a man quadro in me here, and uh, by the grace of God, all Kwanita o o bocha karaka rule. So Anna make a loan. Na se kwande birani 
ka ukwejere hen bia aga hen juku ko ma la he hen na yo and he ni like me today gaga ko ma all this i hen na yo na jesus christ when you want amen all right in a brief summary people's club is about respect and recognition adherence to strict social ethics people's club is about class elegance and notability According to their slogan, people of good character holds our screen for the number of minutes we have watched. News from African Image Expression, Nelson C. Akachu.